Hello everybody, I am joined by Justin Bonomo, who is on an incredible heater this year. It's been so fun to watch you. You were on, in terms of our list of Poker News employees picking out who was going to win big events and potentially Player of the Year, almost all of us had you on our list, so it's not a surprise, but still, the 10K Heads Up is always a prestigious event. I think it's an event that a lot of players really would like to capture that bracelet, so tell me, tell me what it's like to just capture that Heads Up bracelet. Your second, by the way, bracelet. Um, now it's getting to the point where I'm just starting to question the nature of reality and just having these existential thoughts like I, I just don't even know what's happening anymore. Is this real life? That's literally what I'm thinking. It, it's amazing though because I'm watching you know I'm watching you on the live stream and you're very calm, very cool. They're talking in the commentary, you know, you're making all the right decisions. What do you think, you know, differentiates this year from say two years ago in terms of just your play, your mindset? I mean, the, the number one difference is just luck, uh, just everything's going my way. I mean, I think a year ago when I was running bad, I was still playing fantastic poker. Maybe I'm playing a little bit better now, but like, really the difference between this year and last year is mostly just luck. And he's humble to boot, get out of here. Well, you know, for someone who has so many accolades and especially so many in a, in a row just this year, what, is, what does this particular one really mean to you? Um, I mean, it says that I can keep going. Like, I, I just kind of assume, like, okay, that's it. I'm clearly not just going to win every tournament anymore. But maybe I can. <laughs> I don't know. And, and of course, like, when, winning a second WSOP bracelet is cool. I've been playing these tournaments for 11 or 12 years now, so... Yeah, it's sweet. Nice. It's nice. Well, I, I'm sure this is the question that everyone always wants to ask, but I know one of your first matchups was David Peters, who's another sicko. In terms of, but there was a lot of players that I wasn't familiar with that I didn't really recognize that were in the last two days. Talk to me about sort of what were the most difficult battles getting to this spot. Uh, D. Peters might have been my toughest opponent who I played round one. You never want to be sitting across from him round one in any tournament. Uh, I had to play Jake Schindler round three. Uh, oh no. <laughs> th that match was over in six hands, so that you know didn't put as much pressure on me. And then in the later rounds, what always ends up happening is like, there are names that you don't know, and then you look them up and they turn out to be like heads up regs online that have tons of experience. And I'd much rather play a tournament pro whose name I know than some online killer who just knows every single spot inside and out. So yeah, pretty much no tough rounds in this tournament for me. Well, and finally, that's something I was thinking about too, because when I was researching, I found out a lot of them are heads up specialists, the last two specifically. And you know, heads up maybe isn't your specialty, but you've clearly got a lot of experience with it. How does playing heads up like this compare to those full ring final tables? It's very different. Uh, heads Up was my specialty back in like 2009. Of course, the game has changed a ton and I just also don't remember everything I learned back then. Uh, so every year when I do play a Heads Up tournament, I just kind of like refresh, look over some of my old notes, try to figure out some new stuff too. And it's a nice refresher course for sure. And were you watching the streams, going back and seeing some of your opponents before you came into these matches? Yeah, when I could, if I, I finished around early, I would go back to my apartment and like put the stream on while kind of studying other situations as well. I love this guy. Well, I'm sure I'll see you again on the stage really soon. It's it's only a matter of time. Justin Bonomo, your 10K Heads Up champion. I'm Sarah Herring. You guys are with us here on PokerNews.com.